Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, last uh, devotion in being encouraged to share our faith in 2023. So if you have your Bibles, go ahead and open up to Acts chapter 18. We're going to just read verses 9 and 10 today. So a little punctuation mark on the end of uh, this time together. So let's go ahead and pray and we'll read the scripture. Father, thank you for the exhortation you gave the Apostle Paul not to fear. And I pray, God, that you would make us courageous in our faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the Bible says in verse 9, And the Lord said to Paul one night in a vision, Do not be afraid, but go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you and no one will attack you to harm you, for I have many people, I have many in this city who are my people. Uh, and then you'll notice in verse 11 that Paul actually stayed in Corinth for a year and a half and just really was used to equip that church. So, uh, the Lord comes to Paul in a vision, and he has some really specific words for him. It all begins with, do not be afraid. And so, why did the Lord have to say this to Paul? Well, obviously, Paul had to hear these words because he was afraid. In fact, if you read 1 Corinthians, in the first chapter, Paul, like right away, he's like, you all knew how my disposition my condition when I was with you, I was there in fear and trembling. I was so afraid, like you could visibly see the effects of fear on my life. I was shaking when I was among you. And you know, I think sometimes we have this like point of view, and there are people who just, you know, seem to be so courageous and never touched by fear. But the vast majority of people struggle with fear or struggle or are tempted um, to not be vocal about their faith because of the, the stress or the anxiety, the fear of being rejected. And the Apostle Paul's um, circumstance and the history of planting churches, you know, it wasn't just that people might reject him. I mean, there were times where he was stoned and dragged out of the city and left for dead. But I love what God says to him. Don't be afraid. Keep on speaking and don't be silent. Keep on speaking and don't be silent. Listen, when you are tempted to be silent about your faith, you have to know that is not God. That is, that's the devil or your flesh. I mean, it is obviously not the will of God that you uh, turn off the light of your faith. It is definitely not God seeking to silence you from sharing the message of the gospel. And sometimes those moments where the fear is the greatest are the moments where, where God is going to do his most spectacular work. And that was true here in Corinth. You know, Paul ended up staying here and investing a lot of time, not just in this church, but um, in the church in a way where it influenced Macedonia and Greece. And so, um, you know, sometimes for us, it's like, man, we hit the same obstacle every single time. We hit fear and we choose silence. We hit fear again and we choose silence. And we look back over the course of our life and it's like year after year of not being the witness that God wants us to because we never press through the obstacle of fear. I want to tell you today, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. There is no weapon that's been fashioned against you that can prosper. If God is for you, who can be against you? He said to Joshua, going into the promised land, don't be afraid and don't be discouraged because I'm with you wherever you go. Make 2023 a year of courage and boldness and love and faith. Do not let your 2023 be built into the framework of fear. God has so much more for you than that. And you know what it may take? It may, it may take you, you know, pressing hard through that obstacle and that boundary of fear. But I'm telling you, when you get on the other side, not only will you recognize it to be the will of God, but you will set a standard. You will lay the framework for how you can be a witness for the rest of your life. You just got to get past that one, and then you're going to see victory after victory after victory. I pray 
that you have so many opportunities to share your faith in 2023. And, and listen, uh, if everyone listening to this daily devotional really took this to heart and went after it and used their platform as a, as a, a place to share the gospel, think about how many people will be drawn to Jesus Christ. God bless you and walk in the strength of the Lord today. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.